Want to know the biggest mistake I see with startups making content? They're just posting random tips and tricks that nobody actually cares about. I've helped nine figure startups build their content strategies, and I'm going to share with you something that might shock you. You already have an endless supply of content ideas. And no, I'm not talking about ChatGPT. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to mine your own business for content that actually converts viewers into customers. And the best part, you're never going to run out of ideas again. Here's why most startup content fails. They're creating content that they think their audience wants instead of the content their audience is actually asking for. Let me give you a real example. We had a client who was posting daily tech tips on TikTok. Great production quality, decent engagement, but zero sales. Then we switched over to answering their top customer's objection in video form, and their conversions jumped 3x in the first month. The difference is we stopped guessing what content to make and started listening to what their customers actually were saying. Well, here's how you can do the same thing. First, we need to gather your content gold mines. There are five places where your customers are literally telling you what content to create. The first one is your customer service tickets and emails. Every single question that your customer asks is a potential video. Every concern they raise is content waiting to happen. So pull up your help desk right now, pull up all the chat logs, and look at the last 50 tickets. I guarantee you there are at least 20 videos in there hiding right now. Here's what you're looking for. Questions that start with, how do I? Complaints about what's not working, feature requests, confusion about your pricing, technical issues that they're facing. Each one of these is a video waiting to be made. The second place to find them is your sales calls. Every objection a potential customer raises during a sales call is pure content gold. And if you're hearing the same question over and over, you should 1000% be making that video. Because guess what? If one person is saying it on a call, hundreds more are thinking it before they even talk to you. Start keeping a document of every single objection that you hear. Every yeah, but moment, or yeah, but what about this kind of question? These aren't just sales objections. These are content opportunities. The third place to look for content is your product cancellation surveys. This might hurt to read through, but I promise you it's worth it. Look at why people are canceling their subscription. Each reason is a chance for you to create content that prevents future cancellations. If someone says that they left because your product was too complicated, then make a video showing how simple it actually is. If they said that it was too expensive, then create content showing the ROI of your product. You see what we're doing here? We're creating content that directly addresses the reasons why people aren't buying. The fourth place is social media comments and DMs, of course. Don't just look at the positive comments, look at all the skeptical ones, the doubtful ones, the yeah, but responses. These are your future video topics. And for every person that does leave a comment, I would go into the DMs and message these people and even say, hey, what did you like about my video? What did you like about my product? Ask them, interview them, or just kind of figure out, just dig a little bit deeper as to why they decided to engage with you. The fifth place to look are your competitors' reviews, not your own review site. So on your competitors' review page, go to the one-star reviews, go to the two-star reviews. What are people complaining about the most? What's missing? What's confusion? What's confusing? Now you can start to create content that shows exactly how to solve these problems. You're speaking to their audience. You are stealing their audience. But here's where most people mess up. They take these content ideas and they try to make this perfect polished video about them. And I don't want you to do that. Instead, use a simple framework I call the PAS video, Problem, Agitate, Solve. So let me show you exactly how it works. You start with the problem. You state it clearly in the first three to 10 seconds of the video. Something like, are you struggling to get your team to actually use your new software? Then you go into agitation. You agitate the problem, make them feel that pain a little bit more. You say, add, you could add something like, every day you're paying for licenses that nobody's using. Your team is stuck in old habits and you're wondering if this investment was a huge mistake. Next, you're gonna go into the solution, the S part. It could sound something like this. Here's the exact three-step process we use to get 97% percent team adoption in the first week. So you see what we did there? We're not just throwing information at them. We're connecting the pain points, making them feeling it, and then offering a relief. So let me give you an example of how this works with real FAQs and objection. Customer service ticket comes in. How do I integrate this with Salesforce? You don't just make a tutorial. You start with, are you frustrated trying to connect your app to Salesforce? You've spent hours watching outdated tutorials, reading documentation, and you're about ready to give up. Here's the two minute solution that nobody tells you about. Now let's talk about sales objections. If one of your customers says it's too expensive, don't just list your features in a video. Start with, think our product is too expensive. 
I get it. You're looking at the price tag and wondering how to justify this to your boss. But here's what most people don't realize about the true cost of not solving this problem. If you're reading through your cancellation surveys and somebody says that your product was too complicated, here's an example of content that you can make. Don't just show how it works. Start the video off with something like this. Are you feeling overwhelmed with, by complicated software? You bought it to save time, but now you're spending hours just trying to figure it out. Here's how our customers go from confused to confident in less than 10 minutes. Now you're starting to get the pattern. Problem, agitate, solve every single time. Next, let's talk about how to turn one customer question into multiple pieces of content. Let's say someone asks, how long does this take to see results? Maybe some, a question came through on one of your DMs or someone left a comment on your products. You can create a video about the fastest result a customer ever got. Another one could be about the average timeline. Another video could be about showing the day-to-day -day process of using the app. Another video can be what to do when waiting for those results. One about signs it's working before you see the final results. You see, that's six videos from one question. So start to build this into your practice. Save all of your objections and questions that you get on these videos. They are your next batch of content ideas. You're creating this content flywheel that never is gonna stop generating new ideas. Now with making content, the next question that I always hear is, what about production quality? What about what camera, what audio, what about my lighting? Here's another thing that might surprise you. Low production value often converts better. Why? Because it feels more authentic. It feels more trustworthy. It feels like you just opened your laptop, turned the webcam on and just started talking. You can record them on your phone. You can use your webcam, use natural lighting, just sit in front of a window, for example, and keep the editing to a minimum. The goal is to answer their questions and overcome their objections. So let's wrap it up with your action plan. Go through those five gold mines that I mentioned, create a document where every single question and objection is documented somewhere. Then when you make these videos, use the PAS video outline, problem, agitate, solve. When it comes to recording all this, I know as a startup founder, you don't have a lot of time. So I want you to batch record everything. You can knock out five to 10 videos in a single afternoon. Post them consistently and watch which ones get the most engagement and which ones drive the most sales. Then the flywheel starts. Then you go and look at the comments and questions on those videos and then you turn those comments and questions into your next batch of content. Just remember, the best content isn't about being clever or being creative. It's about being helpful. It's about addressing the real concerns and real problems of your users. Stop trying to guess what content to create. Stop talking to ChatGPT to figure out what content is good or not. Your customers are already telling you. You just need to listen. Now, if you have no marketing budget and you have zero customers right now, I want you to watch this video right here.